Hello, today we are going to discuss what is meant by initial public offering or IPO. As I received too many comments related with the expert, they want the explanation of IPO. So I am trying to explain here what is meant by IPO and its related concepts or trying to cover the various questions related to the IPO. So I request you all please subscribe to our channel, share it and do comment on which next point you want the next video. So first we move to the definition of IPO. IPO is nothing but an initial public offering. Is the first time company issues a share to a public. This is when the private, uh, private any private company decide to go to a public. So here a company may be a new means for example I have established one company named as a ABC and I want to issue my shares to a public. So this is a very young company, new company in the market. There are also some old companies which decided to list on the stock exchange. So hence they go to the public. So recently the LIC has launched their IPO as LIC is a old organization or old company, but they now want to list on the issue their shares to a public. So this is nothing but the initial public offering means as a particular company want to issue their shares to a public is known as for first time for first time is known as an initial public offering. IPO provides a companies with the opportunity to obtain a capital by the offering shares through a primary market. So what is meant by primary market? What is meant by secondary market? I will make a different video on the same. But basically keep in mind primary market means what? When first time you are launching your shares to a public is known as a primary market. And when that particular IPO get launched, then IPO list after IPO listing when the investors got the share then they can sell or buy the shares in the secondary market then if uh, another main point is companies hires the investment banks to a market for IPO listing means what for example my company is new named as a ABC and I don't have any idea how I issue a share to a public then I have to take a help of investment banks to decide the price and at what time at what date I have to launch my particular IPOs. So as you have listened to too many news related to LIC IPO on this this date LIC IPO will get launched. So this particular so many investment banks are there they will make an analysis of same and gives you advice for a price of your company they will help you to decide the price of particular shares and also they will helps you to decide the launch date and time so here the who are the investor who are who are investing into your IPOs are going to by a number of lots. Lots means there are the number of shares. For example, one lot is of 10 share. At that time, investors are going to buy that particular lot, which is issued by your company. So the company who is offering a share is known as a issuer is the main concept. So always keep in mind IPO is nothing but a initial public offering when first time company issues a share to a public. So what is the need of IPO? The main need of IPO when particular company want to raise their capital or for they want to expand their business. For example, my company named as a ABC and now I am working in a textile industry, but I want to move into a, some a steel industry as well. Now I need some particular capital then I'm going to launch my IPO means I want to list my company on stock exchange and make and want to make a shares available to a public. So another need of companies allowing owners to early investors to sell their shares initially and make a money and second next main point is a greater public awareness means I'm going to market marketing my particular company through a IPO. So most of the customers can attract to my particular company then Next, what is the IPO process? Means how this particular IPO 
is get launched so first is selecting an investment bank for example i am a new one new issuer i have just established my company named as a abc and i don't know how to offer a shares to a public for first time then first is i need to select the investment bank who will decide the value for my company value of my shares and also they will help me to launch my ipo on particular date and time then second is i need to create a prospect so here in prospect what is there in prospect there are financial records future plans of my companies then risk related to market and expected share price which is decided by me with the help of investment banking so once prospect is prepared with the help of some agencies then i required a sebi approval sebi is nothing but a securities and exchange board of india okay so depending on the prospect they will approve or reject my ipo okay if they approve they will give me a particular date and time to launch my particular ipo if reject they will change, suggest some changes in prospect okay then after sebi approval there is a stock uh, stock exchange approval so there are stock exchanges like a bombay stock exchange national stock exchange if i want to list my ipo on bombay stock exchange then i required a approval of them so this listing is the process where securities are allowed to deal on the recognized stock exchange means on which stock exchange i want to list my particular ipo i need to take approval from them once i get approval from sebi and stock exchange then i need to subscription of my share means what if i am i am going to launch my ipo and you are the investor then as a investor you wish to apply for the share then what you are going to do by using your demat account you are going to fill a particular application to buy a shares or to buy a lot then you are going to invest particular money then once you fill that particular application form and submit it then listing will be there so once the shares are allotted to different investor based on the demand and price so and depending on the ipo forms means for example you are the investor once you by using through your demat account you have invested particular amount then depending on that you will get the shares on particular specified date and specified time so next is how actually this particular ipo issued to a investor what happen most of the time if when company get a over subscription means so many people are interested to buy the shares of particular company at that time what happens number of shares are less and the demand is more at that time on the basis of lottery lottery scheme some investors get the shares or but some may not get the share so whatever the amount they have deposited they will get a refund for the same but if any company is having not over subscription so at that time all the investors or all the investors who wish to buy the share they will got the share on particular specified date and time so this is nothing but the concept of ipo so i request you please subscribe to our channel and do comment on which point you want a next video thank you all